Toss a coin to your blacksmith, O oh, valley of plenty, O oh, valley of plenty, O. Oh. Toss a coin to your blacksmith, the friend of man and me. Let me tell you a story about a sword, not just any sword, the Witcher sword. You may have heard this story many times before, but not quite like this. In order to forge a blade of this stature, only the best materials can be chosen. A Witcher sword uses steel which came hurling down from the skies themselves. So you thought we're gonna cheap out on the meteorite on the sword? That's okay. I have some, and I'm going to use it. The meteoric steel needs to be folded into the rest of the billet so that they fuse together and become one. Fuck, Meteorite is a whole bunch of space bullshit. So I have to be careful, as it doesn't like staying long at heat.
With the steel now ready, the smith returns to his anvil to begin shaping the sword. A fuller is either forged or ground in, perhaps a combination of both. It allows the sword to be both light and strong. Before the blade can be hardened in the fire, it must first have its shape refined. Heating the blade and quenching it gives it its hard and durable edge. The smith must not lose concentration or he will fail both the sword and his craft. After hardening and tempering, the blade will now be handed off to the polyer, who will find the sword laying beneath the scale. One of the distinctive aspects of this sword are the angled plunge lines, which the polyer must take great care in creating.
As the blade is being sharpened and polished, the smith will now begin work on the pommel and the guard. guard being forged very close to its final shape leaves very little work on the grinder, allowing much more time for the final detailed engravings. Pommel is key to balancing the sword. It takes a skillful hand to create the proper form.
Renfrey's brooch is a constant reminder to the Witcher to stay out of the affairs of men. Most of the metalwork on the brooch is done. I have an emerald and a citrine left to set. Let's begin. The handle is where the union between the wielder and the sword is made, often taken for granted, but just as important as any other part of the weapon. To extend the life of the handle, the leather needs to be stitched, not only glued. Inscriptions on blades often have a sacred, almost magical meaning to the user. They can be a message, they can be a prayer, they can also be an incantation.
With the runes on the blade, the steel from the sky, and the jewels from the depths of the earth, a sword is now fit for the Witcher. That was one epic adventure of creating an awesome Witcher sword. If you want to see another awesome Witcher sword, check out our friends at Bellarophon Studios who recently made a replica of Siri's sword from the video game. That link will be in the description below. And as always, tell us in the comments what build you want to see this team do next. <laughs>